Hello Scorpio, welcome to your weekly forecast for November 25th through December 1st. Where is the time going? We're going to see what's happening with this week with this deck here. We have a new moon coming up in Sagittarius, we'll talk about that. And we're going to pull a blessing card for you for something to manifest in the new moon with this beautiful little blessing deck here. So stick around for that darlings. Let's see what's happening for Scorpio, Sun, Moon and Rising. For the week ahead, what's going on? What are these new moon vibes bringing our way? Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising. As always, those of you who collect cards like me, if you like the cards, it's your Monday, Tuesday. I will have the info in the description. Here's your, oops, Wednesday, Thursday. Scorpio, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. All right. All right. Monday, Tuesday for our darling Scorpios, we have nine of stars. So in this particular deck, it is a tarot deck, but uh, the creator of the deck kind of changed the, um, the, the suits. So stars is going to be wands in this deck. Stars would be wands, you know, the fire kind of energy. So Scorpios, we're starting out the week Monday, Tuesday with nine of wands or nine of stars. And the creator of this deck has it listed as, as perseverance. So you might be starting off this week a little bit kind of like i'm hearing man like i've come so far but there's still so much more to go or i've gotten so much done but there's still so much left to do so there may be a level of frustration and the message that i'm hearing to tell you is that it's not as bad as you think you don't have as far to go as you're thinking like you're closer to accomplishing the goal than you realize it's looking like a really big massive thing for some of you but you're gonna climb that hurdle or or, or finish up in no time so that's the message i'm hearing to share with you there i also feel scorpio for some of you what is happening is you're going through some changes in your life and you're about to embark on some really big ones. And uh, for some of you, I feel there are people in your life that mean well, but they might be coming in in a way in the beginning of the week where you feel challenged. Uh, I don't want to say attacked because I don't feel it's like this verbal attack or it's like somebody like, you know, like insulting you or putting you down. But I do feel you're feeling a little bit like pushed into a corner or you're feeling like like you're, you're getting surprised. You're getting pulled into something you didn't want to be pulled into. It might feel uncomfortable or awkward and you might feel like somebody is like... Uh, saying or accusing you of selling out or, or or accusing you of like forgetting who you are or, or 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 getting a big head or that you're just you're doing things that don't make sense uh you might be feeling a little bit ambushed in that way like well like where is this coming from for some of you i do feel it's like a group of people who think that they're having some kind of an intervention or, or something like you know to kind of like talk you back to your senses um this is going to vary for you guys. This is like a case-by-case -case situation because these are general readings, obviously. They may or may not resonate. But I feel that for some of you that are having this happen, where there's maybe a couple of people or a few people that are sitting you down or wanting to talk to you and, and telling you that you're changing, that, that, that they don't like the direction you're going in, they don't like the path that you're going in. Understand this, Scorpio, you are a very valuable valuable person to these people and as they see you kind of going off and doing your own thing they're realizing that they're losing their supply with you so even though it's a good thing for you it's not a good thing for them and so they're trying to hold you back down into that old energy understand and know this is basically letting you know that you're really really close to that next breakthrough um, they see it, they know it, they sense it, they're trying to keep it from happening, uh, but just keep moving forward. Some of you are going to be hurt, some of you are going to be very hurt, or you're going to be sad that there's people in your life who can't be happy for you. Like, how could you say this? How, how could you not be happy for everything I, I've accomplished? How could you not want this for me? But again, when things like this happen, they just happen to show us, 
you know, where not to put our loyalties, right? You know, you don't want to put your loyalties with people who don't want what's best for you. You don't want to put your loyalties with people who are going to be selfish or manipulative. Um, so I do feel, Scorpio, a lot of you are very, very close to a very big goal. Uh, some of you in your personal life may have people that are coming in and, and trying to talk you out of it because it's scaring them where you're headed because uh, they're realizing that they're not going to be able to just kind of tap into you and, and benefit from you the way that they have been. But you have to let it go. You have to be okay with that. And you have to know that you're about to really come into this time of completion in a really positive and good way. Your next card, Scorpio, is four of trees. So this is growth. Okay. So Scorpio, we need to have a talk. We need to have a pep talk, Scorpio. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be um, what we know in, um, in traditional tarot as the Four of Pentacles. So we need to have a little bit of a pep talk here. This is what's happening, okay? You are coming at a crossroads, and you have really big changes that you've been going through for a while, Scorpio. We've been seeing this in your videos. And now that you have so, some people who maybe are not being supportive, or now that it's coming into the last few kind of minutes of like, you know, pushing, pushing through, pushing forward, some of you are feeling very discouraged this week. And when we see four of trees or four of pentacles, um, it, it, it's an energy where we get really, 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 uh, on guard, really, maybe someone's even paranoid, right? We start putting up the walls. We start wanting to uh, be very cautious, be very careful. There could be a lot of fear around money for some of you. Now, depending on, you know, what part of the world that you live in, it could be a, a bad economy regardless, or you might be in a part of the world where we're preparing for holidays and there's a lot of stress and there's a lot of pressure on people like to, you know, to cook for everybody, to feed everybody, to buy everybody presents and and it can be very expensive and so that could be a stress that a lot of you are beginning to think about as well but when when this card comes up it's saying it's a chance for us to grow and to come out of that it's a chance for us not to be in the mind of lack not to be in the mind of limitations so scorpio in the middle of the week i want you to keep something in mind we've got this new moon in Sagittarius happening, for some people, it's going to cause conflict. And I do see that might be an issue for some of you in that beginning of the week. There might be some kind of conflict, but don't allow this to put you in fear. Because I feel like what's happening is somebody's making you feel guilty, like you're leaving them behind. Like you're going to go and you're going to have this great life and, and you're going to be making this money and you're being selfish and you're keeping it all to, to, to yourself. Even if they don't flat out tell you that, some of you are having someone who's making you feel that way. And this is saying you need to understand and know something. You cannot control the world. You cannot control the environment. You cannot... You really can't make that other person's life better. They have to do it for themselves. So it's not about you. Remind yourself that. Let's say, this is not about me. This person's problems, this person's issues, it's not about me. You know, I can't go around rescuing everybody. The same way, Scorpio, you have been, you know, crawling out of this ditch and dusting yourself off, brushing yourself off, and creating this awesome life for yourself. Each person must do this. And you can't let anybody else make you feel guilty or make you feel pressured that, oh my goodness, I've been so successful or I've had all this success, but I'm still not successful enough because I can't support this person or that person. People have to come together. Like people have to, to have to do it for themselves, right? People have to get themselves together, I mean, and do it for themselves. So don't take this as a responsibility on you. I feel Scorpio, some of you have to break out of this terrible, terrible mindset of like, always having to earn your love, always having to prove yourself. Like you've always had to, you know, prove that you're a likable person or that you're a hard worker or that you're a good person. And just understand, try to work midweek, Scorpio. This is going to help you with your manifesting. Try to work midweek in reminding yourself and seeing yourself that you are a child of God. You are a child of the universe, whatever terminology you want to use. And so by such unconditional love is your birthright you deserve to have compassion respect 
uh, you know, food, shelter, love, simply by being born, as all things in nature do, right? You you should not have to be in, in a thing of like begging. And when we can be in an energy of using our gifts and our talents and our abilities, this opens up that flow to have that exchange just by being, right? But you might have grown up in a way where you've always felt like you have to prove that you're lovable. Like you have to prove that, you know, you're earning your keep, so to speak. And this is the time of you realizing that you deserve to be loved regardless. Now, this doesn't mean that you want to put yourself in a situation where you're like, oh, I'm not going to work. I'm not going to contribute. I'm not going to do anything. And you all just you all just have to, you know, take care of me. That that's that's a whole other extreme. That's a whole other whole other thing. No, no, we're not saying that, but we're just saying to know and to understand your worth, to be loved, to be worth something, to be a person, to be of value, to be equal to everybody else. You already are. It's not about how much money you're making or what job you have or what you're doing for anybody else. Anyone that makes you feel unlovable, um, you know, because you're not jumping through enough hoops, that's that's a toxic thing. So I'm talking about just that free flowing exchange of natural love. You are worthy of that. So practice reminding yourself of your worthiness. Practice reminding yourself of your deservingness. You know, that, that just as, as a child of God, as a child of universe, you deserve every good gift and every good blessing. So maybe work on that midweek, you guys. Maybe uh, remind yourself of this midweek. Your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is the force all right the strength card so um this is coming up uh it's a major arcana card keep this in mind so a lot of you are gonna be manifesting something really big in this sagittarius new moon when this when the major arcana cards come up this is not something that's gonna last a day or two okay major arcana cards are cards that come up when we're at a significant crossroads when something has to do with a life lesson or life purpose or life path. So it's pretty safe to say whatever's happening at the end of the week is the start of a new chapter in your life or the start of a new journey, okay? The strength card is coming up and letting you know that this is taking you in a new direction and this is taking you out into the unknown. For me, the strength card is something I associate with, you know, having to be strong because you're in some unfamiliar territory that might make you feel a little bit vulnerable and you have to kind of master the monsters and the beasts and the wild animals along the way, which you are going to do very successfully, might I add, as long as you don't give up on yourself. There, there's a level of commitment that comes in with that strength card to, to be committed to yourself to be loyal to yourself if you want to have people in your life that aren't going to quit on you that aren't going to flake on you you know then you need to not flake on yourself and be committed to yourself and what you're trying to create and what you're trying to manifest so um i do feel scorpio that some of you this week or having to make some difficult decisions about who you're going to be distancing yourself from. And this is going to require for you to be strong. For other ones of you, if you are a Scorpio with Sagittarius in your chart, um, or maybe not, maybe you don't, maybe not even, maybe it's still, but for some of you Scorpios, what is happening is that you're coming into an element of really coming into uh, manifesting a level of success for yourself, breaking out of financial obstacles. Um, I think this is really what the conflict is for some of you, even those of you that in the beginning of the week, you have people coming at you, they might be coming at you in a way like you're being selfish or you're not doing enough financially or something. But I think that you're coming into this financial blessing, you're coming into this financial growth and so as a result, you're coming into like new groups of people, right? As you're becoming more successful, you're going to be meeting people who are successful. And some of you are going to be really tempted to start comparing yourself to these people. Like, wow, this person is so educated. Or, wow, this person has so much money. Or this person is like so 
you know high up in their career and you might feel like you're just starting out or you might feel like okay well maybe i'm coming into this money but i don't have the education that these people have i'm i just kind of did it in an entrepreneur way or i just kind of different way and so you might be feeling um unworthy or you might be feeling uh, like you don't belong there. Understand spirit is saying you do belong there. You're becoming more successful, so you're going to be around more successful people. You know, you, you're ready to be there. That's why you're there. Don't look at it as, oh, they're better than me, or I don't belong here, or I don't fit in. Sometimes that happens, especially if you're coming out of a very um, lack mentality like like a, like a lack mentality environment or a toxic environment when you start coming into abundance and start being around people who are in that abundance mindset you might feel a little bit like oh well, wow like like you're not used to it and you know you might you might feel like people are looking down on you but they're not this is the negative ego in your head telling you this so the strength card for me is you might feel vulnerable because you're in unfamiliar territory or new territory but you're going to master it you're going to conquer it you've got this that's what the strength card is about let's go ahead and see what your blessing card is my dears and something that maybe you can focus on manifesting in this new moon in Sagittarius on the 26th. I am going to make a um, new moon video. So if you hit uh, subscribe, you'll get a notice when that is up. Um, but we'll see what's going on here. And so you, Scorpio, this is nice. Blessing on a homecoming. So I, I, I kind of feel like a lot of you are going to be looking for home uh, with some of this conflict that might arise or realizing there are certain people that you're just not going to be able to hang with anymore, right? And as you're going through these transformations and as you're coming into new groups of people, it might feel kind of unfamiliar. You know, you might kind of feel out of your element. So here's a blessing for a homecoming to have that sense of belonging and to have that sense of home. So the blessing, my dears, and you can come back and listen to this as many times as you would like. Scorpio, this blessing is for your homecoming, for it to be one which is open to who you have become, joyous in the discovery of the changes you have made willingly, understanding of the hurts that may have happened along the road and the paths your journey took you down. May you bring to your home the light of your soul and let your presence illuminate the home making it new and warm once again for those who have waited for your return. Let everything be familiar and soothing, yet no longer memories gift or nostalgia's promise. May home be full of smiles and embraces and warmth, but most of all, a sense of your place being finally filled. Because the truth is that your home was no longer truly home without you, and only your return has filled the void. Let home's sanctuary bless you with the safest place on earth, and let home be filled with the laughter and love of kin and friend, until you can integrate who you have become while you were away with who you are now that you have returned. May your homecoming be blessed with the open arms of those who have missed you and let the rediscovery of you outshine who you once were. A blessing, dear friend, wanderer, on your homecoming. May it bring gladness to your soul. Blessed be. <sighs> Blessed be, Scorpio. There is your blessing and something you may work on manifesting in this new moon, this sense of homecoming. Um, I encourage you all to watch the channeled messages for November, the love videos for November were channeled. Um, I don't typically channel the love videos, but when I do channel, a lot of helpful stuff comes in. Even if you're not interested in romance right now, it can be helpful. And there will be in December channeled messages coming up very soon for December, channeled messages that are not focused on love, that are just overall uh, for the month of December, channeled messages, and then I will do the December love reading soon as well. Uh, but you can click out the no check out the November ones by clicking on the links in the description. 
Scorpio, don't forget to watch your moon and rising videos for the week. It can be helpful. If you'd like to schedule a private uh, reading, you can click on the Cali link in the description and schedule there. I thank you all so very much for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. Wishing you a fabulous week, my dears.